Yo, what's up guys? 17th state here. Just doing some carp fishing. Uh, I've been fishing just seeing if the bite was on. So far I've caught a, actually a pretty good sized brim. So uh, just on this bread here, it's like, I, don't know, I went to the local Wally World and I bought one of their 50 cent loaves that are like about to go bad or something. So, you know, they can't sell them to people past the date or whatever like that. So far caught a pretty nice little brim, no carp yet, but uh, you know, I figure since fish are biting, I'd put the GoPro on so I can record if I get to another one. So, uh, let's go up on down, I'll give a little intro. There's carp everywhere in this water, like everywhere. Apparently, there's brim in here too. Oh, I'm having some technical difficulties with the reel. It's been acting up today. It's an older reel, so I don't expect it to work like new, but gonna pull out a bit of line beforehand something like this this is how I do bait casters of bread so assuming it kind of works on here too and the bread came off so yeah I'm not having technical difficulty but uh I'll come back if I catch any oh there's a carp I don't know if you can see it but we just hit the top I'll come back if anything hits you can see this, but there is six carp right there just schooling up there's a couple right over there. There's some. They're everywhere in here. And uh, actually, I was firmly in the belief that the only thing in this little pond was carp. But uh, I've seen largemouth bass and brim so far, as well as the carp. This is a big old piece of goose feather. Because this is like a place that people come to feed ducks. So, I don't get a lot of fishing competition here. So I'm the only person here. Which is pretty nice. You know, I'm not having to fight for spots and stuff like that. Because no one knows that there's fish in here. It's like the best kept secret, man. And I'm not going to say where this is so that my best kept secret stays a secret. And like a lot of people in my city don't really fish. Like there's not, not a huge fishing community in my city. Pack that little bread ball on there pretty nicely. Like that maybe. Make that shit stick. Give it a gold shake test. How's it looking? Looks like it'll stick. So basically what I'm doing is I'm seeing fish all the way up in here, like right up on me. So I just hop down to this little rock here that's kind of in the water. And I'm just throwing in pieces of bread. Hoping for a bite. I'll come back when I, uh, when I get out another little brim. Green, green sunfish? No, bluegill. Uh, these brim are hitting it right now. I'm so surprised. Give you a good little view of him. All right, come here, little buddy. I want to get you off the hook just as much as you want to be off. I was in that water for five minutes, if that. Come on, you. Don't you spine me now. Good little brim. Oh, really, dude? That's the thing I hate about brim. They don't work with you. As well as other fish like bass. Come on. Get back home, buddy. See ya. Thanks, old dude. You can see it, but there's some geese over there having a great time right over there. Just down there, there's more. So I'm gonna turn my chest so you can see it. I thought that was fun to show you guys real quick. I'm trying to get this bread up off the bottom for a sec. If there's any left, I think I, I got like a little penny's worth left. Just a little nibble of it. I'm gonna throw it right out there on the top. Oh, did you guys see that carp blow up right there? Came up to eat some of the bread that I've left in the water, trying to chum them up a bit. Oh, oh, yep. Yeah. I hope I got that. Really a monster carp right here. He just, I think he just went back under, but he was up here hitting the top right in front of me, dude. Literally right there. That was so cool to watch. They're all over in here and they're not deep at all. Like this water is probably like two feet deep in front of me and these carp come right up to you. They're not scared of humans. They're not used to fishing. You know, they're not overfished like a lot of places because no one comes here to fish. It's great. They're used to people feeding them to watch them. And, like, they'll come right up to you. They've got no sense of, like, I don't know how to put it. They're easy catches. It's a great time to fish here. Oh, my gosh, guys. I'm on a good carp. He's pulling this drag good. Look at the size of this fucking thing. Oh, my Lord. I've never caught one of these before. Won't lie. It is big. Come here. Oh, he's going. It's just taking me to town. Look at this big carp! I'm so excited. Oh, oh Jesus. Come on, you. Oh my lord. 
Oh my lord. Come here. I'm gonna try to beach him. It's having at me. That's a good fight. Come here, you big beast. Hey. Come on. Onto the beach. Oh, oh god. It's going. Tearing my drag with him. No, 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 not in that. Hey, Mom! My mom's here. I wanted her to come over and get a good picture. Oh my god, this is the this is one of the hardest fighting fish I've ever caught, and I've caught some big catfish before. Such a feisty little dude. Walk you up. Oh, come back. I didn't even bring a net. I don't know how I'm gonna land him. He's pulling this line hard. Come here, you. Let me just beat you. I'll hold him right here real quick. Come on, stay put, stay pinned. Come on, stay put for a minute. I'm just gonna get a quick text in. See if I can get some assistance real quick. Look at the size of this carp. Holy shit, it's huge. Oh my god, what a monster. Come here, you. This is probably the biggest one I've seen here. I have to pull down in the water a bit. It's funny. I was leaving in about probably five, ten. No way! I'm so pissed! That thing was easily, easily 15 pounds. I hope I caught that on video. Fuck! He broke off right at the shoreline. Oh my god. That's an amazing fight. So I've given myself a second to collect my thoughts, collect my feelings, calm down just a little bit. Um, I've only got like another 5 10 minutes to fish, but I'm still going to see if I could catch another one. But I, I wanted to like take a minute and calm down before I start talking again, because I'm very, I was, I'm still shaking angry. But I've collected my thoughts enough to say that it's my fault that I lost the fish, should have tried to beach him sooner, and I need to bring bigger tackle. I, it's a complete, I made a, made a bad judgment call, honestly. I, you know, I looked at the carpet here and I was like, oh, they're 5, 10 pounds. That monster was 15, 20, because this line is, oh, Jesus, that's a bad guess. Because I'm using 20 pound test. You know, I'm using very, very heavy line. And the leader, which is what he broke, is a 45 pound leader. That carp was easily 25 pounds. On a, that's like after he starved himself for two days. He's 25 pounds after taking a shit for, after starving for three days. That's a huge monster carp. And the only reason I'm saying that is, I mean, look at this leader. Hold on. Pull up my leader real quick. I use 40 pound leader. And he broke my leader. So you know, you know that fish is big if it breaks 40 pound leader. And it's my fault. I should have been more on the ball. I didn't know what I was doing and I got a little bit overexcited. And it's my fault I lost that big fish. I'll come back, you know, after today, I'm coming back still. Another day, another try. And uh, I'm going to bring better gear. Got to buy another pack of sinkers. Because uh, I was using a stuff of bread like this on this hook here. These types of hooks. On a... This is 20 pound test into 40 pound monofilament leader. I was using a... Size like 6 sinker. You know, to kind of get the bread below the surface a little bit. Because they're feeding just below the surface because it's really hot today. I'm... I'm glad that I got the chance to fight him, though. I've never fought a fish with such veracity and such power. Straight power. I've never fought anything like that before. 
And I can really appreciate the experience. I mean, I, of course, I'm upset. I lost a good fish. But, you know, who wouldn't be upset about that? Um, I got proof that I caught it, you know. Caught it all on video. But this pole right here is an ugly stick. I have caught 20-pound catfish, my bad, on this before. You know, 10, 15, 20-pound catfish. And it's bent like this much. That carp had my pole all the way straight down. I can't physically bend this pole straight down. I'm a decently strong man. So that carp was easily pulling on this thing with 20, 30, 40 pounds of force. So, you know, I mean, I can't be angry. I can just appreciate the amazing, amazing fight. I think I'm about to leave. I think it's one o'clock and that's about the time we have to leave because we gotta run over to my aunt's house to run or something. Uh, we'll be back, you know, I'll make another video here for sure. Especially now that I know that these carp can be caught. I was starting to, starting to lose some hope after a little while, but you know what? And I'll learn from my experience. I'm, honestly, I'm going to save up and I'm going to buy a better rod. I'm, gonna buy an, I'm probably going to buy a GX2 with a, a better reel, something a bit heavier. Because, I mean, you heard that thing ripping this drag, and look how tight this drag is. Like, that's a, easily set to 15, 20 pounds, and he's ripping that drag out. And still with drag ripping out of my line, you know, like, bend and pull with the drag ripping like that. All right, everybody, I think this is about to be the time that's to sign off, but uh, taut lines and good times, guys. Peace.